So we are heading towards the Abiston Lock Flight. Uh, we've been moored up on the Coventry for a couple of days, just enjoying the peace and quiet. We did go through the outskirts of Nuneaton and now this morning we decided we would set off and try to get through the Abiton Lock Flight. However... Maggie broke them. What? Why do you always blame me for breaking stuff? I'm not even... I'm nowhere near them. <laughs> Lock 6 is broken. As we were pulling out, um, somebody kindly shouted that they think Lock 6 is still out of operation. And it's... yeah, there's... you can't get through it basically. So, we aren't doing the Allerton Lock flight today. No. So, we do have to get some water and we've just fueled up at the Springwood Boat Haven. Springwood, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So. so, we've got some fuel, we need to get some water um, and then we'll find somewhere else to moor up while we wait for the lock to be opened. Yeah. Because Somewhere near Atherston, just in yeah. case it's long enough that we need to do some more grocery shopping or anything. Yeah. So, not much we can do about it. No. It's like, I think it broke like two days ago. Yeah. So, and there's no end date, so we don't really know when it's going to be back in working order. Oh well, we're not in a hurry to get anywhere. The Coventry Canal is really nice. Yeah. Really nice spot to moor, so. It's Armco Heaven. Yeah, Armco <laughs> Heaven. It's a warm day today. It's supposed to get up to 34 degrees. That's Australian spring weather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were going to do the Atherston Lock flight today because it has been fixed. But 34 degrees is not ideal weather to do 11 locks. Mm. So we are just moving up towards the locks because we would have stayed put in the nice shady spot we had but we do need to find some services so we can do all our services stuff yeah <laughs> and definitely top off on water I'm drinking a lot more now yeah It's a much cooler day today, like 12 degrees cooler or something. It's only supposed to get up to 23 degrees today, so that's much more manageable when you want to do a flight of locks. Yeah. <laughs> so yesterday we just pulled up in the shade after doing the services and just did nothing because <laughs> it was too hot to do anything. I know we're Australian and we shouldn't complain about the heat, but it was hot and muggy and sweaty yeah we have more reason to complain we moved from Australia to get away from that kind yeah. of weather how dare you English people have a day like that here <laughs> so we're going to tackle some of the locks today we don't think we'll do all of them it just depends whether or not we find some moorings in between some of the flights so we have access to the town for shopping yeah and we need to pieces. get some shopping so we'll just we'll just see how we go if we can't find anywhere in the middle of the locks we'll just go through all the locks and more up down the bottom it's not like they're that spread out so not going to make much of a difference to us we haven't done a lock in what feels like months yeah the last lock would have been the Hawkesbury stop lock yeah at Hawkesbury Junction before we turned onto this canal that was like ages ago yeah <laughs> and that's not it's not even like a real lock it's no. like a foot <laughs> The last real lock we did would probably have been Bronson locks, wouldn't it? No, it was the Hill Morton locks, the three. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like two. Near locks. rugby, yeah. yeah. 
that was the last one. That was a long time ago. Shows how fast we move. <laughs> <laughs> of the Atherston locks. We'll see how many we get done today. So we're coming down the rest of the Atherston flight now. Uh, we've got six locks to do now, I think. We just spent a couple of days moored just like in the center of Atherston. So we get some shopping, get some mail delivered. And it's only 48 hour mooring. So now we're going to head off and find somewhere nice and quiet to sit. So that's the other stone locks all done. They actually took quite a while because... Yeah, it took like several days. <laughs> that's because we stopped in the middle. <laughs> it took a little while to get through the last six because they fill quite slowly and they have a few leaks and stuff, so... Yeah, it was quite busy too. Yeah, it was really busy, so there's usually... We were usually going into a full lock, which was good. Yeah. So... Onwards. Oh, 
welcome to Maggie's Gardening Corner. Rooftop gardening, more likely. My rooftop gardens. You might have noticed that we have some greenery on our roof. And we stopped by Dobby's Garden World Garden Centre. Yeah, Garden Centre. To pick up some... Well, actually, we went there for the Amazon locker because we wanted to pick up a parcel. And ended up coming back with plants instead. And ended up coming up with some herbs. So we've got some basil, some chives, sage, mint and parsley. And a dying. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that wasn't our fault. We got that one from Aldi, one of those potted herb plants. And it wasn't looking very healthy when we got it. No, we thought we'd give it a go, but we might have to get a new one. But yes, very excited to cook with some of our herbs. Yeah, it's nice having fresh herbs finally. Yeah, it is. This has been in the. This has been planned for for months and months now. Yeah. <laughs> but every time we seem to be near a garden centre, they either don't have the right size pots or they don't have any herbs. <laughs> no. Nope. So pleased that we got those. Yep. So, we've done the locks, we've found a nice shaded spot to moor up for a mm -hmm. few days. It's not too hot today. No, but it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow too, so I don't trust that it won't go up to 30 degrees again. So we'll, stick in the, we'll stay in the shade. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed coming with us down the other stone locks and seeing us part of the countryside. If you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Got Pixel! Pixel, come on! <laughs> you think it's big enough? You think it's big enough?